What's good, Internet? My name is Attack Slug, and we are about halfway through TNA Impact on the Xbox 360. Before I begin, it looks like there might be another YouTube adpocalypse thing, and I barely survived the last one. So, as always, I have a Patreon. It's down in the links in the comments below. Extra uncensored videos on that Patreon. Also, I'm going to be doing more live streaming on Twitch. Link down in the description for that. Let's get started. So the X Division is this crazy league full of high flyers, risk takers, and daredevils who aren't afraid to put their bodies on the line. This should be interesting. Hopefully TNA comes with life insurance. It's wrestling. There's no insurance. I'm sorry. And now TNA wrestling fans. Who do we got? Who do we got? Uh, job. Really? I made it back into singles competition and you're still throwing jobbers at me. What are you doing? And so I welcome you to a fine Wednesday here on the program versus El Grosso. El Grosso, he's so gross. Anyhow, that's happening. Oh, run away from El Grosso. Uh, our big news story of the day is that Ty Dillinger has requested his release from WWE. And I mean, they kind of haven't been using him, so I kind of don't, don't blame the guy. But also, like, he just turned 38, and he just got engaged to... Peyton Royce. So, interesting life choices for the Perfect Ten at this point in his career. But hey, if they're not going to use him, and you want to work, you want to show the world what you can do, then certainly uh, get your release and see if you can find greener grass, bigger pastures, etc., etc., elsewhere in the world. There are options. There are always options elsewhere in wrestling. If there was a year to do it, it'd be 2019. So I guess we shall see. Moving forward. Now, can I survive the Grosso? And I can miss that. Yeah, do that thing and then you miss. Haha! -ha. There. Now we're even. Anyway. We have some SmackDown things to discuss. We have the huge announcement for 205 Live. It was an eight-man tournament to see who's going to beat or who, who's going to fight Buddy Murphy at Mania. And I know last time they did they, that last time 205 did a tournament, there were guys who weren't on 205. So could this be the debut of Kushida on 205? That is where I'm going to be curious about moving forward. But SmackDown, obviously, is what happened last night and a major part of our discussion on the show today. So we have a tag team rematch happening for the SmackDown tag team titles held by the Usos. And Miz and Shane get their rematch, even though there's no more automatic rematch clause. They go to them into it, which is kind of how things are probably going to go moving forward. But also, on the flip side, that does look like Shane McMahon abusing his power as the commissioner of uh, SmackDown. So, you know, just saying. Makes Shane look a little bit shady there. And will it be an, an eventual Shane heel turn? Anything's possible. It's wrestling. Will, will Miz stay face when he eventually fights Shane at Mania? That is the question. They're making they're they're making Miz look pretty sympathetic here at the moment. And Shane as well. He's a McMahon, damn it. So uh, I don't want to get hit with the chair. Get back in there. Alright. Well. No! Aha! Impact move coming up. Impact move coming up. The Angels Wings. Brand new. Finishing maneuver. Boom! On the chair. Good. God almighty. That has to do it. That's not enough. Is it enough? Not enough. Just barely. By the skin of his teeth. And then, now he gets to hit his finishing move because video games... Why is everyone who's a job using that finishing move? I don't understand. I don't understand! I don't get it. Both men tossing out the best they could possibly have in this matchup. And it's still an even fight. But El Grosso has more damage done. So, that being said... Let's see. Choke slam! Oh, into the code breaker. Once again. Once again. Haha, -ha, reversal. Anyway, so that's gonna happen with uh at, at Fast Lane between Mick Miz and the Usos. Will the Usos retain? And then if if they do, who do they fight at WrestleMania? Who knows? Man. WrestleMania is is gonna be interesting this year, I feel like. Anyway, we also had, much like Raw, the NXT talent, the same talent from NXT on Raw. Uh, doing the thing again, which look, apparently this week Vince wanted to see better wrestling. And hey, I can't argue with how to have better wrestling on your wrestling shows. El Grosso, 
you dunzo. Give me better competition. New moves. The Fireman's Backslam. 50%. Let's continue. Come on. You've got to be kidding me. This guy? Again? Seriously? Welcome back, Burnside. Welcome back. We didn't miss you. Anyway, so you had Aleister Black versus Andrade on SmackDown. An NXT Classic being redone on the main roster. And it's always a funny match to me now. Because we know, XBX, we know that Black is married to the manager of Andrade in Selena Vega. So, that's always a bit amusing. Anyway, you also had The Bar versus DIY. Which is, you know, that's fine. That's cool. Here we are. Fireman's Carry Backslam. It's, it's, it's a... Fireman's Carry Backslam is a Samoan drop, you guys. Why does it not call that? I don't know. Anyway. I could be wrong, but that's what it looks like to me. Anyway. So, you had that match. You had DIY versus The Bar beating The Bar. Fine. Uh, you know, quality wrestling. Always good to have on your wrestling show. I appreciate that. Uh, you had Asuka losing to Mandy Rose because of a distraction from Lacey Evans. So perhaps the rumor of Asuka fighting Lacey Evans at WrestleMania might be a factual thing. I don't know that Lacey is a great match, though. Like, her match quality. Like, she can get carried to a good match, but I don't know that at, on her own she is a competent enough worker worthy of fighting Asuka, but otherwise, who else do you have, I guess is the question? If she's not going to fight Charlotte at WrestleMania, then who else do you have? So, that's an interesting bit of... Uh, Discussion, I guess, for that side of the women's roster as such. But again, all things being what they are up in the air, it's WrestleMania season. And they clearly want to push Lacey Evans, so they go and do what they're going to do, regardless of the actual match quality, I feel like. So that's going to be curious to watch in the next couple of weeks as such. I wouldn't be surprised, though, if, if we see a Mandy Rose and Asuka match at Fastlane. That seems to be a thing. Now she has, now she has a, a victory. That seems to be a thing moving a forward. Stop reversing. I was almost at my impact move. Burnside, I hate you. You're a lame jobber and I hate you. You and your kilt. I'm sorry. Get out my face. Get out my face, Burnside. Oh, come on. You've got to be kidding me. You are the jobberiest jobber hitting that senton. Get up. Get up. Oh my god. There. Angel's wings. Angel's wing wanks. Once again. Oh man. And then. Ah. Like. Whatever man. Not enough right? Not enough right? Of course it's not. If you think I'm, I'm letting Burnside hit his finisher. Which I'm sure is the same as every other jobber's finisher. I don't care. Like. These are terrible matches. And I don't care. Give me actual TNA superstars. I'm a former tag team champion. With Eric Young, who was on SmackDown, fighting Ricochet. So that happened. Good old show Showtime Eric Young. EY, doing his thing on SmackDown. So, good for him. Getting on TV. Good for him. Can you stop? Stop. Burnside, stop. I don't like you. Just stop. Boom. Give me that chair. You're going to be going to fight on Friday nights or Thursday nights or when it, whenever Impact airs. I don't, I don't even know. I don't even know. You can't fit on the outside, you idiot. Wrong button. Anyway, so yes, Ricochet beat EY because of course he did. Kind of a little busted open. And your main event was a six-man tag team match. Play up. Holla holla. Burnside. I'm just going to run away now. Ha 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 Burnside. Ha 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 ha. You're going to lose it and not hit it. Ha ha. On the best and you're not. Ha ha. Sorry, Burnside. Sorry, Burnsy. My name is Mr. Burnside. Okay. What was that? Video game. Quit botching what you do. I don't appreciate all the botching. And the glitching. So six-man tag team action had Kofi Kingston pinning the new Daniel Bryan, and we get Kofi and Bryan at Fastlane, and there's a whole discussion to be had there about, man, typically Fastlane, you're not going to see a, a, a change of title at Fastlane outside of the whole thing with Owens and Goldberg, but that's a whole different... It's Goldberg, come on. But more importantly, 
in that match, the throwback of Kofi Kingston beating up Randy Orton and pulling the stupid, stupid, stupid 10 years later. I love continuity. If you don't recognize that reference, go look it up. New moves. Moonsault DDT. Hell yeah. New moves. Headbutt. Okay. And I get a whole 1% for that Jabba Brigade and I, I'm done for today. I can't even. I can't even. So tomorrow, hopefully somebody actually competent and not a jobbers. Hopefully more than a 1% for a match, but we'll see. I'm a tax slug. Thanks for watching. More videos tomorrow, definitely. I'll see you next time right here on this channel. And I'm out.